time we're going to look at casting, or the explicit conversion of one variable into another. So let's say that we have an integer and we'll call it height. And let's say we have let's say that we have a double and we will call it mass. So if I wanted to, I could take a double um, and I could multiply height by mass. And what happens is an implicit conversion here. Um, basically, the integer height would get promoted to a double or an 8-byte container, and then it could be multiplied by mass. It would just simply be padded out. In this implicit cast, a fundamental difference exists between an integer 4 bytes and a double 8 bytes. Therefore, to perform the calculation, Java casts the integer to a double, padding out the extra 4 bytes and assigning the result to result. And if I were going to display the result, And I'll show the result there. Add a few lines there. And you can see the result here. It's been padded and basically promoted to a double. So that's an implicit cast. Okay, and it uses unifying types to do that. Now there's also such a thing as an explicit cast, and that's where you want to purposefully convert one number to another. And were I to do this explicitly, I could simply take a data type and put it into parentheses. And this is saying that I want to pad this out, or I want to convert, you know, in this case, this integer into a double explicitly. So if I were to do that, and I get the same result. And I can also override the default or implicit conversion. And if I wanted to, let's say we wanted to take mass and convert that to a whole number non-decimal value or an integer. So we're going from an 8-byte double to a 4-byte integer. And this would be an explicit conversion. So let's build that project and we'll run it. And again, it's shaved off the decimal portion, so it's simply truncated or got rid of those extra decimal values. Just an example of explicit casting and implicit casting. In this explicit cast, though the variables are both doubles or 8 bytes, Java will truncate or shave off the extra 4 bytes of precision, demoting the integer to a double. Then, to perform the calculation, Java implicitly casts the newly formed integer back to a double, padding out the extra 4 bytes and assigning the result to result. This example is useless for all practical purposes, undoing itself, but it illustrates both implicit and explicit casting. Remember, when you explicitly cast to another data type, you place the data type in parentheses to the left of the data type being converted. Example. I have an integer called small number and a double called large number. I can assign the double to the integer by explicit casting. As a result, large number will be truncated. The extra decimal places get shaved off, resulting in the loss of 4 bytes worth of precision. This type of casting is allowed, but may give you a loss of precision warning in some compilers. So here in this example, we have a 4-byte integer called small number, and we have an 8-byte double called large number. 
and this has a small value that you could hold with four bytes, actually even two, and this has a larger value with a decimal portion that would require eight bytes. Now here we're going to explicitly cast, so in parentheses I put the data type integer because large number is not an integer, it's a double, so it's an eight byte value. However, I want to convert it or cast it explicitly to an integer. So I'm going to truncate or shave off four bytes of that eight byte double and convert it into a four byte integer. Then and only then would I be able to store it or represent it with this four byte integer small number. Now when I display the results, I'm going to lose precision here because you know losing four bytes, I'm not going to be able to represent the decimal portion of this number nor will I be able to take a whole number value this large and represent it with an integer. So it's sort of like a car's odometer, it'll simply wrap around. Um, but just to show that we can do it, we'll perform this explicit cast. So let's build the project. And I'm going to come over here and run it. And as you can see, what we have here with the 4-byte integer is not what we have here with the 8-byte double. However, you know, for casting purposes, we could or can do this. Now on the other hand, let's try this with the number 300 and a decimal portion of 045. So I'm going to rebuild the project and now I'm going to run the project. And notice now we just get a whole number value of 300. So in this example, since we're not, you know, wrapping around the or exceeding the amount or value that a four-byte integer can hold, we still get everything to the left of the decimal place, and that's the whole number or whole integer value 300. We've simply truncated or shaved off the 0, 4, 5. So explicit casting can be very useful uh, when you don't necessarily need the precision precision of a double, but you want to, you know, save yourself some memory or, uh, you know, optimize. Uh, code in, in one fashion or another. Review. Casting can be implicit, that is automatic, or explicit, that is forced by you, the programmer. When assigning smaller data types to larger data types, Java promotes the smaller types to the data type of the larger one. When assigning larger data types to smaller data types, Java truncates the larger type to the smaller, resulting in a loss of precision. Mm -hmm.